This video will discuss the management of postaxial polydactyly type B. Although commonly performed, suture ligation of ulnar polydactyly is unpleasant to undergo for the family and has had multiple complications reported. Most commonly, a painful neuroma can develop at the site of the ablation. A systematic review demonstrated superior results with excision over ligation with a complication rate as high as 23% in one study. There are even studies that discuss excision of the painful neuroma at a late stage, demonstrating surgical approaches to dealing with the painful neuroma. With histologic confirmation of the neuroma, ligature clips have been advocated as an alternative to suture ligation. We have found the results to be quite similar to suture ligation. Patients often live with their painful neuromas, as in this 65-year-old man who was repeatedly told that there was nothing that could be done and that he would have to live with the pain. We therefore prefer postaxial polydactyly removal in the office in a technique that was described by Peter Carter at the Texas Scottish Rite Hospital for Children. The technique begins by injecting Marcaine with epinephrine using a small gauge needle, in this case a 27 gauge needle and a TB syringe into the base of the stalk after allowing the anesthetic to take effect for 15 to 20 minutes. The rest of the procedure is painless. We use a bipolar electrocautery to remove the polydactylous digit at its base, leaving a flat contour with no residual nubbin. We then apply bacitracin and a band-aid and the child is seen two weeks later for a wound check. For more information, visit us at littlearms.org.